Ja. I'm gonna give you a little minute to come on in before I start. But as you can see, it's about to be Floyd Mayweather, Shig Shane Mosley. Give you a little minute real quick. Let me let the people know I'm live. my TV remote. I'm going to go ahead and start talking while we in, while I'm trying to invite people. What up, good people? It's your boy K. Lou kicking it with Kev episode five as I try to build this Twitch stream up. I'm using a different mic. Hopefully, it sounds better than the other one. The other one is it's really like a kick drum mic. So, it has like a do-do-do-do kick to it. But as you can see, Floyd Mayweather versus Shook Shane Mosley. I did it on Facebook. Um, but, you know, again, I'm trying to build this Twitch page up. So, I'm going to do it here on Twitch. This one of my favorite Floyd Mayweather fights. I was a Sugar Shane Mosley fan as well. Um, but, but by this time, I was all Floyd Mayweather. I didn't want to hear nothing Sugar Shane was talking about. So, <laughs> we're going to get into it. People like to say Floyd fought Shane past his prime. But that's Shane's fault because Shane was ducking Floyd. Uh, Floyd called Shane out years ago before this happened. Shane, I mean, Floyd called De La Hoya out years before this happened. It was only until they saw they could get money. They could get money from Floyd. That's when they was like, all right, let's go ahead and call Floyd out and make it seem like Floyd be ducking. But that ain't the truth. So, uh, we'll get right into it. You know, Shook Shane did his thing at first, but Floyd hounded it up. So, let's get right into it. And the tens of thousands here in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. I can't see that name, but whoever. Oof. I don't know who name that is, but appreciate you, man. Out of the blue corner, Tell you people, I'm trying to build this page up, man. Richardson, wearing black with aqua. I can't even see it on TV. 147 pounds. Professional record, 46 victories, including 39 knockouts. With five defeats and one no decision from Pomona, California, the former lightweight world champion, former junior middleweight world champion. And the Shane used to be my guy back in the day, man. Welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane Mosley. And fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Roger Mayweather, wearing red and black, officially weighing in at 146 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 40 fights, 40 victories, including 25 knockouts. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, Former welterweight and former super welterweight champion of the world, Floyd Money Okay, John. We okay here? We're okay here. Okay. Now, Shane Floyd, uh -huh. with all the rules in the dressing room, okay. I expect a clean, tough fight. Obey my commands at all times. Okay. What I say, you must obey. Get okay. him up, touch him up. Okay. 
Anderson for it. Okay. Floyd Mayweather <laughs> is usually the most exciting fighter before the first bell. Shane Mosley after the first bell. What are we going to get tonight? Round one begins. And an immediate question is, will Shane try to apply pressure? Or will Shane read Mayweather for a while and box? Most believe that he will try to pressure Mayweather and immediately get him into a physical fight. And it starts with a couple of little body shots inside by Mosley. Jabbing to the body. Work out, work out, work out. Come on, work out, fellas. Stop, stop, step back clean. There you go. Mayweather with his left hand below his waist. Fights in a very loose, fluid style. Used his jab much more in his last assignment against Marquez than has normally been the case. Mosley starting out with the jab to the body. Watch out! Stop, stop, stop! Let him at this, him at this stage right here, nobody's really made any contact, but Floyd's punches seem to be a little bit crisper and have a little stop, bit stop. more power. Uh, Mosley seems to be a little weak. A little Let's bit go. looser with his coordination. Well, Mayweather, as usual, looks very relaxed. And that's part of what helps him to be so quick. And there's that right hand counterpunch over the top, which is his best offensive weapon. No, 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 no. Mosley's glove touches the canvas. Kenny Bayless rules it a slip. Mosley was trying to land a big right hand across the top. He wants to touch gloves. Mayweather wants to punch. Mayweather gives the appearance of wanting to fight toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but of course he's very good defensively at close quarters as well as from a distance. Mosley got a jab to Mayweather's chin. First real connect. No, 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 no. But, but Shane looks Stop. wound up Stop. and tight. Watch wound up and tight, and actually surprising me, Floyd looks physically stronger to me. Looks a little younger and better coordinated and stronger. Well, some of that is just the sheer relaxation, right, Emmanuel? No, he just physically, you know, he just, his body's just much, 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 much more firm and compact. Jab by Mayweather. And you're right, he is a lot more relaxed than Shane is. Stop, 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 let him up. That's almost to be expected. Mayweather recently has been in this position more often. Shane wanted this so badly. It's hard to imagine a fighter in more of a want-to position than Shane tonight. And that means passion but it can also mean being pent up. Mosley going back to the body with his jab. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out, watch out, watch out. That round was mostly a war of nerves. Mayweather had fewer nerves. Here we are. Everything's good. Everything's good. That was a decent first round. That was a decent first round. You know, a typical Mayweather round, filling each other out. But you know, this second round gonna get real interesting. If you don't remember it, I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. That's the whole thing. He keeps stepping with his feet, keep countering his ass. He don't know how to get into you. That's why. Now I get to you. You control it with your hands, too. Here you see Mosley throw a punch at right hand, barely missed the right hand and lost his balance. And, you know, this, nobody's made that much of a solid contact in the entire round. But uh, still, when the fighter starts slipping and falling, it kind of makes me feel that something is not as good as it should be in terms of the coordination. They only threw 57 punches total in round one. Mayweather landed 7 out of 23, Mosley 11 out of 34. Harold Letterman gave the first round to Sugar Shane. I didn't see much of anything happening in the first round, frankly. I called it even. Don't push, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're standing close enough to punch, but not doing much of it. It's coming. It's 
Shane is usually a little bit more aggressive, but I think the feints and the hand speed of Mayweather's got him a little hesitant about coming in with the speed that he normally comes in with. Well, you heard Nassim no, 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 Richardson no, 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 between rounds push, saying, I down. need you to don't settle down. down. Yeah, Touching on the point we made in the first round. Yeah. He looks wound up and tight. Very, there's a hard whoo. right hand. And that may be the hardest that punch delight. that Floyd Mayweather has taken in recent years. He's, he's smiling about it, but Shane Mosley landed a right cross. I was nervous. Crunchingly so. Mayweather's trying to ward him off. Mosley's trying to follow up. Well, the same right hand that he Watch missed it earlier and fell down. He landed it that time. It was timing. He but threw it at just the right moment. There's another right hand. Shane Mosley has brought the crowd into the fight. It's very rare that we've seen Mayweather get hit by a right hand the way he holds his head behind his shoulder. Mosley's loosening up. The crowd is coming alive, and we've got to fight for a moment here. Mosley, 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 Mosley. Another big right hand. Mayweather's knees buckle in the second right hand. Mosley drives him into the ropes, tries to go to the body. Mayweather defending well as always. He's not really hurt. He tried to feign it a little bit. I think he's hurt. He's going to hit in his legs. The legs don't lie. His balance he's, isn't he's as hurt. good as Mosley. hurt. And, and, but he's doing one thing smart. He's tying his man up. No, he's hurt. Not sure what Kenny Bayless that said. Team Mosley responded to it. This chant is Mosley, Mosley, Mosley. Mm. Hard body shot by Sugar Shane. Good left hand. Two good left hand counters by, or left hand hooks, I should say, by Mayweather. And now he lands the right hand. Work out, work out, fellas. Work out, work out. Well, the scoring of round one now becomes very interesting because if the judges agreed with Harold Letterman and gave round one to Mosley, then Mayweather may suddenly be two rounds down on the score. So look, that was, that was a good round, man. Say, my heart was beating fast. My heart was beating fast when that happened live, man. I thought Mayweather was finna drop because Mosley is a good finisher, man. So I thought Mayweather was finna drop. My heart was beating fast. But that boy showed that goat heart. That boy showed that go heart, man. He showed that composure, man. He was never, never rattled. So, look at him. He calm. And Roger, rest in peace, Roger Mayweather. Let me turn this back up. First one that got him in trouble. Right on the chin. Jab to the stomach and right hand to the chin. That's what started the problem. That's why Mayweather the goat, man. Another right hand. Not so clean, but it landed just enough to hurt him because of the fact that he was already right in the temple area. Almost panic in Mayweather's corner. Everyone's calm. saying to him, box him, box him. Why are you fighting this fight? As we, as we mentioned earlier, they were standing very close to each other as though Mayweather has got something to prove here. There was a little grin on Mayweather's face between rounds. It looked almost like a look of embarrassment that he had gotten hit that way. Mayweather 11 out of 26 in the round. Mosley 18 out of 47. The big number is he threw 47 punches. Watch the glove, watch the glove, watch the glove. Even though he's been hurt, okay, probably behind a couple of rounds maybe, I think he still looks much stronger to me and more, more coordinated than Shane. Well, I don't think there's any question that he's a better boxer than Shane Mosley. No, but he's not boxing, he's actually fighting him. I think he just physically should raise him how strong he is looking at him. He's really not boxing. He's wanting, he wants to get in and fight with him. There's the fighting, and now he lands a chopping right hand after his left hook. Mosley, showing his competitive spirit, wants to get back. Another right hand for Mayweather, who's coming back well from the difficulty of round two. Round three has belonged to Floyd. But uh, Shane seems to be very generous and seems to be really having a problem dealing with Floyd's speed. What's in the dance move? Uh, uh, Mosley just did it right there. Mayweather probably surprised. I'm sorry, Mosley probably surprised that Mayweather is the aggressor. Definitely Floyd has changed it up in this round, and I think it shows you his competitive response. 
I think he was embarrassed that he got hit by a right hand in round two, and he wanted to dominate this round. blocking the left hook there. We're back to the war of nerves. As Mayweather has made an adjustment, and now Mosley seems to be trying to figure out how to deal with that adjustment. Floyd has had an accurate punching round. has again become something of a mystery for Mosley in this round. He's hesitant, punching, jabbing to the body because he can't seem to find anything else to do as Mayweather has turned the momentum around. Another good round by Mayweather. Beast. Go. Get behind that jab, you'll be able to turn the hook off of that jab and drop that right in. And when he starts that crossover, we told you that step, step over. We worked on that, Shane. We got that ready. But I don't want you second guessing yourself. Stay behind your speed. Stop looking to hurt him. It's going to come, Shane. It's going to come. Stop looking to hurt him. Stay behind your speed. That's the difference. We discussed this, son. Hey, look, look. The main thing you got to do is keep working with that stick. That stick. Hey, one more water. Keep your head thinking. Keep thinking. Keep painting. Keep painting. Keep thinking. The main thing you gotta use that. Rocky Mayweather, Mayweather wants Floyd Mayweather, 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 Mayweather to keep jabbing, keep painting, keep boxing. Now, see, Richardson wants Shane Mosley to relax, stay behind his speed, and not try to go for a knockout. Just simply try to land punches and box. Harold, how do you have it through three? Look at Jim. Two rounds to one. 29, 28, Sugar Shane Mosley. Jim, in round one, I thought Mosley led to the clean, effective shots with that left, you know, the left jab to the body. In round two, Mosley won it big. He led to the power shots. But in round three, Floyd Bay with a plant at his feet, would throw the left jab and then that hard right hand. And I mean hard right hand. There's a lot of power. Get him off first. Either he gets off with a left hook or he gets off with a straight right. Two to one, Shane Mosley. Already, oh, Mosley has produced some fight. fireworks against Mayweather. Mayweather watchers yeah. will remember that a few years ago here in Las Vegas, Zab Judah got in some shots in the first three rounds before he was effectively subdued by Mayweather's defense in the middle rounds, and then late in the fight, Mayweather was toying with him, landing his right hand over the top. Well, one of the let's most see what happens to Mosley. One of the most effective punches I thought that Shane would be utilizing a lot more would be his left jab, but he's not jabbing that much, hmm. and therefore, actually, Mayweather's out jabbing him for the most part, even though he doesn't jab that much, but Shane should be working his jab a lot more. Is it because Mayweather's been able to counter his jab? I don't know, whatever it is, but he's not, he hasn't been throwing it that much. And just the, the speed of Mayweather in his hand and his physical strength is just still amazing me. And Shane is looking old to me. His body doesn't have that tone. Rock the boy. And his punches doesn't have that, the, uh, the power. And the boy, he and Floyd is fighting more offensively at this stage of the fight than is usually the case. Particularly, he stepped it up in round three to respond to Mosley's assault with a couple of right hands in round two. I think, Jim, that's because he believes he's the superior boxer and that he can capitalize on too much. Mosley's mistakes or, slo or slowness. And that's why he's staying as close to him as he is. Hard right hand by Mayweather. I don't believe that punch landed, but he is... Uh, whatever, whatever Mosey was expecting, I doubt it was this. For whatever reason, Mosley is no longer throwing much. No, he's actually fighting Mayweather style now. A lot of faint hesitation, 
jerky moves, and that is what Floyd wanted. Floyd has got him fighting well, right in the mode that he wants. That, you know, when, when fighters are used to being the fastest guy in the ring, and then they come up against a fighter who is as fast or faster, it changes everything. And maybe that's what it's changing in Mosley. Now he's trying to dap him up. He's trying to dap him up. Man. He's talking noise out of the second. Don't worry about that. Keep doing what you're doing. Got to be boxing skill for that motherfucker. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that motherfucker on the end of that jab. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. That third level, I need you to let his hands go in the middle. All right, touch your chin, let those hands go in the middle. Take that angle off for him. All right, we worked on this, Shane. Don't hesitate with it. Put that stick in there, baby. Take the angle. Here you see Shane coming in, he's about in a position oh, where he shouldn't be really, and, and, and he's getting called a right hand by Floyd, he's right over his low left shoulder. Yeah. One of the few clean punches that landed that round. Combi box numbers in the round, Mayweather 12 out of 31, Mosley 9 out of 32. I, that, that surprises me. I don't know that I saw Mosley throw 32 punches in that round, but maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough. Oh, excuse me, that was the average. That was the average through round four. Average Mayweather 12 out of 31, Mosley 9 out of 32. And that further underlines your point, Emmanuel, that Mosley is fighting Mayweather's fight. Yes, he's fighting. The volume of punches is down. And Mayweather's a much more accurate pinpoint puncher when you're fighting on this level and at this tempo. In the second round, Mosley got off 47 or 48 punches. That's the pace at which he wants to fight. But when you can't see the target or you're worried about the counter coming back, it's much harder to release your hands. Touch him up, fellas. Touch him up. Kenny Keep Bayless has taken Keep a very clean. active role in the first five rounds of this fight. And the dressing room. No, 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 no. Let him up. Well, as you should, it's been Keep a very, basically, a quiet fight. It's a, a good sparring session so far. Mayweather, you know, that's one of the two punches he throws with regularity, the left hook and the right cross. Most often they are opportunity punches thrown at openings that the opponent creates for him, but sometimes he will step it in lead, and his timing is so good, and he's so quick, and he lands that way. Like that. Shane, look jittery. Floor just smooth with it. No, 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 no. You almost wonder if Mosley damaged his own rhythm and fight plan by landing those two big right hands in the second yes. round. Yes, but I, I don't think so. I think Florida just drawn him into a fight in his pattern of thinking, thinking man's game. And, uh, work out, work out, and, and work Shane out. just lost his own rhythm. And he came to Florida, looks way much stronger, much more sturdy, and much, much faster than he is. And more comfortable. He's right in his comfort zone where he wants to fight. Which is exactly what Shane should have tried to change and not let happen. Watch the elbow. Watch the elbow. What can he do about it? I don't think he can do anything, to be honest. I think that uh, Mayweather is physically too strong and young for him. I'm surprised. I thought it would be a much more tighter competitive fight, and maybe Shane would have been the physical fighter. Larry's point is quite well taken. When you've been the physically gifted one all your life, it is not man. easy to look at another man too in front soon. of you and say to yourself, oh, I get it. He's faster and he's stronger. Make it easy on yourself. Starting to get tired. There ain't no hard fight if you keep boxing this motherfucker like this. Rest in peace. Boxing. <laughs> Roger. Boxing thinking man's game.
Take the hand, double in back, speed. I need that. I need them rapid shots. I don't need them big, that big heavy stuff. I need one, two, one, two. Take the manual. You know what I'm saying? Same rapid thing shots. you worked on, son. That's what you worked on. Not big. See, you get that big shot off, and you didn't get caught up in the cracking with that big shot. That big shot comes down the road. CompuBox totals through round five. Totals. Mayweather 66 of 162, 41%. Mosley 46 of 165, 28%. At 165, Mosley is throwing 33 punches per round. That is a Floyd Mayweather pace. that used to seeing. But you know, the, the, the tempo is just where Floyd's favorite punch is at the pullback check, left hook, pulling Mosey in and catching him coming in with a pullback hook. Or either his little lunge in left hook where he loads up and sprees all the dozer. He very seldom puts combinations together. You don't see Floyd throw no, 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 three, four, no, five, stop, stop. six shots the way that Sugar Ray Leonard and other fighters did. He'll throw one or two punches because he's always going to be in balance and he want to make sure he's going to be back in a defensive mode if he misses. But well, he's... Again, over the left hand, which Shane holds low. Holds low. This is easy work from here on out. Holding his left hand up to block it. Now, as he rolling the punch, neither. Just as if he's out of position, fan. If he doesn't and misjudges, he's going to get hit with him. And you may see him get hit with more right hands in the fight go on. Because Floyd is getting closer and closer. He's trying to get closer so he can land the right hand easier. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and the big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. But they say Floyd run. He don't look like he's running to me. But, but, you know, Floyd is landing the punches, but he never pushes more than two shots. Very seldom he's going to do. But Shane is coming in and, and committing himself. But for whatever reason, his hands seem to be real loose and real rubbery. His punches are not tight and compact. Very loose. And, and the floors are very much more compact and more powerful. Much more body weight. Shane Mosley spent six or seven weeks in the gym training to fight Andre Berto in a fight that was scheduled for January 30 and went by the wayside after the earthquake in Haiti. Then, of course, he got back into the gym in a hurry to get ready for this fight. Is it possible he's overtrained? It's very possible. You, you, your body have to recuperate. You can't just keep in training all the time. Sound like an excuse to me. It's possible he could have withstood that better if he weren't 38. That's true. Making excuses for Mosley. But Mosley, the one got in the ring and called Floyd out trying to put on his um, Floyd his Mayweather stunt. Senior. Trying Waiting to get one more big last money Hoping, fight. Hoping, some say, to train his son again. At the very least, he offers that he's available should his brother no Roger no Mayweather no find no himself no as the result of no a court trial next summer in a position where he might be away for a while. The rope, just don't get on the rope. Here you see Floyd land typical shots the way he land with short, clean, accurate punches. And the, the closer and closer that he gets to Shane, the more and more he's gonna land those punches because his punches are really short as compared to Shane, but Shane has to have a little bit more of an arm loop into his punches. Statistically, that was his best round for Mayweather. 22 out of 42, high for the fight. 11 out of 16 power shots, that's 70%. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at you, 58, 56, four rounds to two, Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I tell you, he gets off first, he blinds you with that left jab, and then he puts that straight right hand in there like an arrow, hits Mosley on the jaw with it. He really good, nice combination punching. Piling up a lot of points with that lead right hand. I mean, you, you know, 
Mayweather gets up first all the time, and I think that that's what does it in the eyes of the judges. He sort of blinds Mosley, and then he whacks you with a hard right hand. Four to two, Floyd Mayweather. Emmanuel, Shane Mosley's jab does not appear to have had a big effect for him in the fight. No, in fact, he's not landing right hands. On all of his punches, it seems like he's not even closing his hand. His punches are too loose. He's doing jingling, jingling punches, I call them. And Mayweather's got much more power and explosive going. Where's the left hook to the body with which Mosley terrorized opponents in the lightweight division? Is it just impossible to land it against uh, Floyd Mayweather? I think Floyd has just got him into the zone and the pattern that he wants him to fight in, and his stones changed totally off track. And he can't get his rhythm to go on. I'm trying to see where the power shots are. I don't see much power. I just think Floyd is out quicking him and out boxing him. Well, remember, CompuBox no, no, no. calls everything other than a jab a power shot. If it's a hook, if it's a straight right hand, if it's a body punch, if it's an uppercut, it's a power shot. By CompuBox definition, anything other than a jab. But all Floyd do is run, right? That's all they I say. I think he's lost respect for Shane's Ooh. punching power, too. That's why he's coming in now. He's going to have to change. Now, nah, Floyd don't hit nobody. Yes. He just runs. His hands are not even closed. And, and so he's, he's now what I'm more and more aggressive. No, 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 I think no, no, no. most nights, Floyd Mayweather isn't thinking knockout. He's thinking of winning every round. Just allows it to happen according to his own skill level. He may be thinking knockout now because he's found it so easily to hit Mosley with right-hand shots. Yeah, he, he's still a very, very cautious fighter, he's still. Standing in there, leaving all of No, 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 watch your head, fellas. Mosley redoubling his effort here, trying to throw combinations. What about more right-hand leads, Emmanuel, since the jab isn't working? From Mosley? Yeah. Well, his right hand is better than, than the jab, but all of it is loose. Nothing is really tight and compact where you have his really tight body weight behind it. Time, time! And Shane looks a little bit weary as he goes back to his corner at the end of the seventh. He weary, all right. He been getting rocked. They talking about all Floyd do is run. Floyd is a boxer, man. He ain't no brawler. He a boxer. He'll tag you and get out the way. All right. Can't depend on one big shot. So the hand still got to move. All right, he'll walk into the shot for you if you move the hand. But you got to wake up. See, he should have went to the I'll tell you, this, this kid's gift is his condition. Got nothing to do with that other stuff. All right? Just switch away. Get the towel. Yeah, get the towel. Got to put the water on him because you got to keep him woke. You look like you're fading on me, man. Cold That's towel. what I'm he panicking. He in panic mode now. He ready to quit. Mayweather 45-17 edge in total connects over the course of the last two rounds. According to CompuBox count, you heard Nassim Richardson there, Emmanuel, asking Shane Mosley to wake up and get back in the fight, I sense that he's already worried about his fighter's ability to withstand the punishment as the fight goes on. I agree, and I'm looking at the expression in his face between rounds. He's, he's not comfortable with the situation. No, 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 no. And, and Floyd seems to be totally warning. relaxed, cool. No, 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 that's a hard warning, sir. They don't do it. Here we go. Okay, Keep it Kenny clean. Bayless is warning Keep Shane Mosley for clean. simply manhandling Floyd Mayweather. Two fighters are talking to each other. And while Shane's talking, Mayweather hits him with a left hook and a right hand. And Shane's still talking. That's, that's what he should do. I mean, it's, it's not time to have a conversation. Absolutely right. This isn't time to talk. But Mayweather's talking. Along with Mosley, they are chatting with each other in the middle of the ring. You can bet it's not friendly. I, I'm a little surprised. I hate to say this, but I never expected this. But Shane is looking his age in this fight. I never thought I would see it this much. Stop, stop, stop. Totally stop, different from the stop, fighter that I saw that fought Margarita. Well, well a lot of Margarita may with, have been his last hurrah. Yeah. Hey, uh, you, can, you, can, you can stop the clock, but you can't stop time. 
And, and also, you look at the style of Mayweather. Mayweather's really got him right into fighting his fight. Mayweather, or excuse me, Margarito was big and strong. Mosley was far faster than Margarito. That is not the situation he's looking at tonight. Look, he had a one. He ain't pushing, man. Shane can't have the speed and the coordination of Mayweather. It's that simple. And there's no one particular punch. Oh, watch the elbow. Watch the elbow. Mm. Playing with him at this point. Mayweather is grinning now at our announce table. This is something that happens when he begins to feel as though he's completely in control oh, no, of the fight. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. It's a change face. Trust me, he's a defeated man. I mean, I, I think the, uh, the, the spirit and everything is gone. Most fans on the far side of the ring are standing up. I think that's because of the uh, skirmishes that we've had in this round. The two physical altercations that Kenny Bayless is working with. But well, they're, they're all on edge, I think, thinking that Mayweather's going to knock him out. Incidentally, one of the fans who was standing up over there was Irvin Magic Johnson, and if Irvin is standing, hey! you don't want to have the seat behind him. <laughs> Easy work, man. Dominating. Shake people. that motherfucker down right now. You got to force the exchange now, Shane, because we got to get him out of here. Be careful of doing it. Don't worry. Be careful of doing it. But you got to force the exchange. You can't look for breaks. On the break, he's going to fire. On the break, he's going to fire, Shane, every time. He he's pulling you out of, out of the break. He's catching you clean. All right? You're going to have to sit down and force the exchange with this guy. Change your level, man. Walk him out that stick and fire. Shane, he got a yard in. Well, you see Shane complaining. He gets hit with a right hand by Mayweather. Like he's been getting hit with so many of them each round. Mo with the gets in the back. Two or you. three good right hand shots. You know that. He never puts them together. If he had the meanness of a Tommy Hearns or a Ray Leonard or Duran, he probably would have stopped Shane in that last round. But he still is playing it safe. He doesn't let combinations go with four or five combinations. And Sh Shane should be glad for that too. I think it may be convenient to suggest that this is because Mosley's 38 and he's getting old in the fight. Personally, I don't buy that. A lot of people thought this was a close to even fight, even though the odds were so wide in Mayweather's favor. There were ringsiders who believed that Mosley had a big chance. And I think it, that Floyd it, Mayweather is showing you again that his skill level is different from other people. I was one of those that thought that this would have been a much more tighter competitive fight than this. I know about two or three people who gave Mosley a really no, serious no, 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 no. chance. Well, odds, I was one the, of them. Okay, and the odds accurately reflect the fact that virtually everybody was picking Mayweather. Whether they had an affection for him or not, they were picking Mayweather to win. So I, I don't get that this is something unexpected. I think what is unexpected is that Mayweather has stood his ground he hasn't been just trying to box and get out of the way as he usually does. He accurately scouted Shane for not being a pure boxer and is taking advantage of it. Stop, stop, stop. This needs to work at this point. Stop. He should have knocked him out early. That ain't, his, that ain't how he fought. Woo. That was a perfect example. Shane, Shane threw about five of them legitimately punches out, out, and fought through one little short out, right out, hand and did more damage than he did with about seven work of those little pity pat shots. Stop, stop, stop. Agreed. Got the workout, fellas. Come on, here we go. Heads. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Good left hook by Floyd Mayweather. The right hand brushed across Mosley's face. Mosley missing over the top with the right hand. Hasn't been able to throw that many of them in recent rounds. Uh, what they are are Hale Mosley's. It's not getting there. Look out, look out, look out, look 
Come on, watch your head, fellas. Watch out. Stop, stop. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, that's all right. Let me bring. Okay. All right, here we go. As this fight out, winds down, more and more people are starting to think about Mayweather and Pacquiao. Buddy, I'm sitting here thinking about her already. Which floor won the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, by the way? Let me play that one soon, too. Let's go to buy on that bitch this time, okay? A little Roger, man. Let's go to buy on that motherfucker here. Shane Mosley Jr. Well, watch his dad is working wolf. with him in the gym. A lot of goat. The new trainer, Nassim Richardson, calls him Spicy Shane Mosley. You, you still got time, Shane, because of what you are. But damn it, you got it. Here you see Floyd Mayweather with a nice counter shot right hand. Roll his shoulder, come back with the counter right hand. Here he comes back with another right hand. Shane doesn't have any defense, and his reflexes are not sharp enough to get away from those right hands. If he could do what Floyd did roll his shoulders and come back. He may have something going for him, but he has no really good defensive mo move for right, a right hand at all. There's another clean, near fellas. perfect round for Mayweather the way he fights. 17 out of 43 for Floyd, 40%. Shane Mosley was counted by CompuBox to have thrown 45 punches in that round, and he landed three. Harold, how do you have stop, it? Look at you. 88, 83, seven rounds to two, Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I've got Floyd winning seven rounds in a row. I mean, he's just dominating this fight with that hard lead right no hand, no with the left jams. I mean, when the guy gets off first, he kills Shane When he gets off first, just like that, he just stops mostly. But even when he doesn't get off first, he backs up, times him, sets it up, and throws that straight hard right hand. Seven to two, Mayweather. I'm guessing the CompuBox has counted at least 25, maybe 30 Sugar Shane Mosley fights. I'm guessing that in all those fights, you'd be hard pressed to find any other round that was as desultory for him as three out of 45. There's a landed punch for Mosley, and Mayweather comes right back with a counter right hand. Body shot for Mayweather. Mosley ducking and slipping or trying to. The general feeling after the, the negotiation on, with, work between work Mayweather stop, and Pacquiao stop. broke down was that Mayweather had to find a, an opponent that the public and the media and the experts would accept. That if he took a lesser opponent, that it would seem he was ducking Pacquiao. And that's why he took Mosley. And he is proving his point right here. Mosley has landed some leather in this round. A couple of right hands, landed a straight left jab there. He just hasn't gotten anything solid onto Mayweather, which might change the momentum of the fight. Never seen Mosley in this kind of peekaboo style. Have you? No, I've never saw the expression on his face to have been defeated. He doesn't have any confidence at all as compared to what he's had before in the past. The only thing he's got is a little fire in him that he's always had. If he gets hit, he'll fire right back. That's the right. The crowd is now rising in the excitement of watching Mayweather do his thing and wondering whether he's going to consider the possibility of going for a finish. And the referee, Kenny Bayless, is uh, positioning himself to observe Mosley. Right, stop, stop. Ah! Ten rounds in the books. He had nothing left. He was out of there. He'd been done since, what, round six. How many water bottles? I'm not going to stand there and watch you take a beat. Exactly. Take a beat. exactly. You get that hair movement, stuff, find them hands, Shane. I know you. I know you come from a different cloth, son. Don't make me do something I don't want to do. Yeah. You understand me? I need you to get the well, damn it, you gotta give me something. You gotta give me something. You're not moving the hands. You dropped off the hands, B. 
you're going to have to punch with him. Instead of keep waiting for a spot, you inside looking for a perfect shot. There is none. Move Ooh. the hands, man. Step over and come back. Say it well, to me. I'm going to move the hands. I'm going to step over and come back. Say it. Move the hands. Move the hands and step over and come back. That's what I need. Then you ain't tired. And I know you ain't that tired if you can repeat it. Take him out. It's too comfortable. Yeah, man. You can still got it because you got that warrior in you. All right? But damn it, we need it. All the hands, man. Naz Richardson, a desperate performance enhancer at this moment. Well, he's saying the right thing, but it's nothing that Shane can do with this situation too much. He doesn't have the coordination, the power, you know, or anything that can do to be, be a real problem for Mayweather right now. Mosley's had some late knockouts, notably against Ricardo Mayorga a couple of years ago. Mayweather, Mayweather generally at this moment in the fight is content to continue asserting his dominance. He doesn't judge his record according to how many knockouts outs there are. His thing is to outbox you. And he's done that clearly against Shane Mosley. It's interesting that he's beaten Mosley more in a more dominating way than he's than he had with Oscar De La Hoya. Of course, Mosley beat De La Hoya twice. Um, and De La Hoya gave Mayweather a better fight. Some people believe Delaware won the second fight against Mosley. This group in particular was adamant about it that night. And of course, one difference is a lot of people say if you want to fight Floyd and you want to have any success at all, there's a right hand by Mayweather. And you better start with a great jab. Mosley has never had the really great no, jab, no, right, Emmanuel? No, he's like a rubber and, wrist. He doesn't have any power in his jab at all. And and to just to follow the point through Larry's comparison, Delahoya did have an excellent yes, jab. Yes, Delahoya had one of the greatest jabs in boxing. So that's the difference, and maybe that's the reason that Delahoya was not as one-sidedly beaten as Mosley appears to be at this moment. I'm not holding. Stop, 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 stop. Here we go. In fact, for about seven rounds, Oscar De La Hoya was in the fight with Floyd Mayweather because of that jab. And it was only when he began missing with the jab and then eventually stopped throwing it that Mayweather took over the fight. Stop, stop, stop. Here, the takeover began in round three after Shane Mosley had some fireworks that lit up the crowd in round two. Well, actually, at the end of the first round, I saw right away that Ennard was going to take over the fight. Even though he'd been hurt that round, I saw he... He survived it, and I could just see his coordination, his focus, his eyes, his intensity is way better than Shane is. Another hard right hand by Mayweather. Mosley is swinging and missing. I don't know if he's done what Naz Richardson told him to do, move his head, step over. I haven't seen it, if he's done it. I don't know that I've ever seen a trainer make the fighter verbally repeat the instruction the way Naz did. One round away from what would appear to be it's easy work. the 41st consecutive victory of Floyd Mayweather's unbeaten career. Being the mean, box of shadow. Stay behind that stick now. It's down. Keep whooping his ass, but stay behind that stick. Let that motherfucker run into something. Damn, Miss Roger Mayweather, man. Hey, come on, Tom. Keep on getting Shane in that tie up when y'all locked in. When you let that short shot go, Last and final round. Touch goes. Keep it he using that elbow on his belly. This is it, baby. In that time, let it go. This is the dog. The bullshit is out now. He gotta go. You've done it before. I need it now. This is what warriors do. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Indian ground, this is round 12. Final round! Keep the train, fellas, keep the train! Well, let's see if Shane Mosley has plan Z. In front, in front! Mayweather's round-by-round round winning streak ever since the second round continues on Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. 
up, up, bring him up, bring him up, Shane. Left hook to the body. I've been looking for it all night. Shane Mosley finally threw one. Stop, stop, stop. Heads, heads, fellas, watch the heads. Good left hook oh, by Mayweather. Mosley had to hold on for a moment. Mayweather was able to get in a shaft of her right hand, too. Stop, stop, stop that. Here we go, here we go, fellas. Come on, work out, work out, work out. Stop, 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 stop. Another left hook to the no, body no, no, by no, Mosley. No, 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 let him up, let him up. Oh, step back, step back. Work out, work out, fellas. Come on, work out. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, fellas, stop the wrestling. Come on now, let's go, let's go. The referee getting frustrated. So you have to assume that once this is over, all the talk will be about the subject we spent the first part of the year discussing, or the latter part of last year discussing, and that's Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. The I difference think. would be speed. Well, Pacquiao's pretty fast himself. That's well, the point, obviously. Is he faster than Floyd? That's the, that's the question going into that fight. Ever since the moment in 1992, when Vernon Forrest upended him in the Olympic stop, trials stop, stop, stop. and prevented Shane Mosley from going to the Barcelona Olympics, where he was expected to be shoulder to shoulder as a star with Oscar De La Hoya. Shane Mosley has been fighting for recognition, fighting for singularity, fighting stop, stop. to try to get the public to see him as the star which many people in boxing saw him as. This was the chance. This was the forum. Work but out, the question out. now, did it just come too late? Or is it a situation where Shane Mosley, like fellas. every other one of the opponents who preceded him, no discovers holding, no that holding. Floyd Mayweather's skill level, Floyd Mayweather's conditioning, Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport is at this moment unique. And he stands alone. Go. Floyd, Shane Mosley's body of work over 18 years will stand the test of time. Tonight it could not stand against a younger, better fighter. A warm moment for Mosley with a couple of members of Mayweather's corner, Nate Jones and Leonard Ellerby. Floyd, for his part, looking relaxed. Collected and really not even winded. No, it, was, it wasn't even really a tough gym workout for the most part. That's how good yeah, he is. After the first round, he was at he's totally in control. And thank God that he was he's not a really aggressive guy. Because if he had, he would have knocked Shane out. It just the fact that he wouldn't commit too much. He only throws one or two shots. But if he just sat down and shot five or six, seven shots, it would have been over with. Let's take a look at a string of highlights from throughout the fight, and it's something of a one-note tune with the exception of the second round. So in case somehow you joined us late, let's take a look back. First round was a war of nerves. Not much happened. Shane Mosley landed that big right hand in the second round, and Mayweather immediately grabbed the right hand. Then when Mosley landed a second right hand, watch Mayweather's front knee buckle. And at that moment, the crowd went wild, thinking that Shane Mosley was proving that he had a big chance in the fight. But in rounds three and four, Mayweather stepped up and made the point emphatically that round two was an anomaly. And the pattern of the fight would be the same movie we've seen several times before. The faster, more well-coordinated fighter using his defense to frustrate the opponent and using his rapid punching offensive skill to land when he wants to. Throwing only when he wants to, not trading, boxing, selecting, dictating, managing, and ruling the fight against Shane Mosley. He won every round from the second round on, at least by our lights. Now let's go to Michael Buffer with the scores. From the MGM Grand, we go.
to the scorecards, Adelaide Bird and Dave Moretti score the belt 119, 109. Robert Hoyle, 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated. Still. Floyd. Money. Go. Final copy box numbers will reflect Mayweather's dominance. Landing 106 punches more, Killed. throwing 25 more, more than doubling Shane Mosley's connect Killed. percentage. Another when he throws this match. Who knew? Total power punches. Mayweather landing 77 more, throwing 108 more, and nearly doubling but, hey, Mosley's connect percentage. All he do is run. All he do is run. Show you. He don't fight. He runs. Floyd Mayweather is an unusual mixture, as he lands only 17 body shots. Very careful about selecting those body shots. He never wants to put himself in, be in the position of being countered by something upstairs. He throws most of his punches at the head. The left hook, 39 times. The right cross, 152 times. It's an amazing rate of accuracy. And Larry Merchant stands by with the winner. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Floyd. Why did you turn yourself from a defensive wizard into an offensive force tonight. Well, I, I wanted to get the fans, you know, what they wanted to see. Wanted to see. They wanted to see a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Fans didn't want to see me moving. Fans wanted to see me coming forward. So, you know, that's what we did tonight. But first, I right. must thank God, because without God, this victory wouldn't be possible. What did you see in Shane Mosley that made you think you could fight that fight? Um, just going over the game plan with my dad. You know, my dad and my Uncle Roger was at home, you know, watching uh, videotapes of Shane Mosley. You know, I don't watch tapes of uh, no opponent that I face. So my ultimate goal was to, you know, uh, box early, then start pressing the attack uh, later on in the fight. What especially could do, do you think you could exploit in his armor? I think that um, I think that we should have pressed the attack a lot earlier, and then we I, we could have got the knockout. But Shane Mosley is, is a tough customer, and um, he's one hell of a fighter. What else can I say? He appeared to, if not hurt you, stun you a bit in the second round, were you? Well, that comes with the territory in boxing. You know, only the strong survive. I mean, um, this, of course, this is a contact sport. I mean, sometimes you're going to get hit with big shots. You must suck it up and keep fighting hard like a warrior. Exactly. Do you feel any different in fighting this type of fight than your normal? Well, I was, you know, I'm, just, I'm happy that um, me and Shane had a chance to fight. You know, it's a part of history. He's a future Hall of Famer. I'm a future Hall of Famer. And, you know, we had to get the fans all over the world uh, this fight. They deserve it. It was a pretty one-sided fight, so let's go to the next business at hand. <laughs> Do you believe Talk so slow. that you can find no a compromise to make a deal to fight the fight everyone wants to see with Manny Pacquiao? Um, I mean, it, 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 if uh, Manny Pacquiao wants to fight, I mean, it's not hard to find me. I mean, we, try, we, we was going to make this fight happen um, um, a couple months back. We, we weren't able to make the fight happen, so we move on. Well, if, is, the, is the issue of the blood we'll testing cut him off. such a strong issue in your mind that if he doesn't bend to your will as Shane Mosley did, does that mean that there's no other way to make the fight? I take my head off to Mosley. Mosley was a, a was a warrior because, you know, um, you know, Mosley had problems in the past, but he's a he's a strong man. He, he he done what I asked him to do. He took the blood and the urine test. All all I want to do is be on even playing field. So if every athlete in the sport of boxing is clean, take the test. I'm willing to take the test. Exactly. It's Pacquiao's position that he will do whatever the commission says. The well, commission has indicated that they might be flexible and maybe in changing know, some of their rules, but not necessarily all the way that you want. Does that mean essentially that you're going to be at loggerheads and that the fight can't be made? I mean, like I said before, if Manny Pacquiao take the blood and urine test, we can make the fight happen for all the fans. And if he doesn't? We don't got no fight. Period. Are you satisfied that finally you fought one of the toughest guys out there since you since you fought Deloya, 
You had fought two smaller fighters with big followings that made a lot of money. But you've been heavily criticized by me, among others, for not taking on the biggest and strongest well, guys. Everybody's so, so how satisfying is it for you now after this kind of win? Well, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Only thing I want to do is continue to go out there and fight the best that they got out there. If it's, if it's Shane Mosley, I'll fight Mosley. If it's Pacquiao, then I'll fight Pacquiao. Only thing I'm saying is Floyd Mayweather want to fight these fighters on an even playing field. That's all I ask. I just want to be treated fair. So you think that they're all taking performance-enhancing drugs? I, I never said that. I said I want to. I want to be on an even playing field. That's all I ask. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. on Thank an you. outstanding fight. You have a fighter. Go ahead, All right, Shane. Um, he neutralized virtually everything you could do. Why? Uh, you know, I think after when I, when I, when I caught him with the, the big right hand, I might have started loading up a little bit too much. I played into his hands, and um, I couldn't. I, I tried to bounce around, move around to, get, to knock it off of me, but it just, I was just too tight. I started getting tight, and I couldn't throw a number of big shots. So. Shane, you've been a professional fighter for 18 years. Why are you tight yeah, in a fight like this? Uh, I think, like I said, when I, when, I, when, I, when I hit him with the big right hand, I said, okay, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to get that knockout uh, sooner or later. And he started being able to avoid uh, the punches. All right, so, okay, after a few yeah, rounds, cut him certainly out. you can see that, that, that you got to go to plan B. Yeah, no, but Was I, I he tried. just too good? Did he just surprise you by standing at arm's length and challenging you and beating you to the punch? No, he did surprise me. I kind of figured that he was going to try to do something like that if he can, once he tried to uh, get my timing, but I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't adjust, and he adjusted, and uh, that's why he won the fight. You virtually begged for this kind of fight. What are your feelings now after losing so decisively? Well, I'm happy that I took the fight, and I'm happy that he gave me the fight. He gave me the opportunity. Uh, he showed that he's a true champion, and, um, you know, now you guys can get a chance to see uh, him and Manny. Well, if Manny takes the blood test, you can see him and Manny Pacquiao get it on. Are we going to see you the in the ring again in the boxing gear? Well, you know, I had to go back home and, you know, check out the tape and see what, what happened and what was going on. Um, but we'll see, you know, um, I'm, I'm just trying to take it slow, see, you know, what, what goes on, and uh, I'll take it from there when I get home, I know. Thank you, you've had a great career, Shane. Thank you, I appreciate that. Jim? Yeah, so I just wanted to do the interviews and everything, because people be forgetting the stuff that Floyd said and the stuff that his opponent said. It got the hiccups, excuse me. But you saw it. Floyd Mayweather to dominate Sugar Shane Mosley. Easy work. Easy work. And you see this picture here. This was Floyd's fight right before that. Sugar Shane got in the ring, talking all this noise. I've been calling you that this and this, you duck me. No. Floyd been calling you out. And you been ducking him until you saw a big money opportunity. So now you got it. You got work. Hey. Everybody get work by the GOAT. It is what it is. So at least he didn't knock you out, you know. And you got a good round on him on that second round when you almost knocked him down twice. So I'm going to post this on um, my YouTube on the podcast page as well. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that either checked in for five minutes, liked the page, shared the page. I'm trying to build this Twitch up. Um, even if you don't watch the whole live, just you popping in for five minutes helps a lot. So I appreciate you for doing that because uh, it shows that you actually popped in and, you know, said what's up and did what you had to do. So I appreciate you. Even if you don't watch the whole thing, I just you popping in and clicking on it and watching just for a little bit, it helps a lot. So I appreciate y'all. Share it. It's Twitch, Junior 5 Kicking it with Kev is what I'm doing while we quarantine. Um, the, we still got the Brooklyn 214 podcast on YouTube and everything else podcast related. So, but yeah, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit, man. So, hopefully, it works. If it don't, I it just I like doing this anyway. So, whether it works or not, I still do it because I just like doing it. So, that's just how, that's what it is. I like podcasting. I like talking about sports music um games all that so 
you might see some music video actually ain't no might you are going to see some music videos soon um it's gonna be either me playing drums me playing live um my homies that's on tour my homies that's local so you will see a lot of that stuff man video games all that man so it's gonna be a mixture of stuff it ain't just you know sports and video games it's gonna be a lot of stuff you might see some reality tv type stuff so we'll see man i'm just trying to build a page up appreciate y'all watching man kicking it with kale go follow the brooklyn 214 podcast on youtube and this twitch klu junior 05 yeah